Now that we are fairly familiar with the data entries in Excel, let us transfer the data of the situational case study to Excel. So the first step would be to open your Excel sheet and when you open the Excel sheet, you will find it as a total blank Excel sheet. To maneuver between your Excel sheet and the Word document, you should use this simultaneously Alt and Tab. So Alt plus Tab, you can maneuver between the two documents which you want to visualize simultaneously. The reason I am doing this is because I may want to look at the data and simultaneously populate this data in the Excel sheet. So is a useful shortcut that you may remember. Now let us go back and populate this data points in the Excel sheet. So we can start from here the cell A1 which should consist of XYZ company list of employees. So let us quickly provide a header to this um, table XYZ company list of employees. Now in order to make this table you know we can have different kinds of approaches. One is the we manually view this data and actually document this data one by one. Say for example we start with serial number, name, department, gender, monthly salary. These are in a single row. So we can type that serial number, name, department, gender and monthly salary. So I can do this one by one. As I can see you know department is fully not visible. So I will quickly again use the shortcut. I'll go to the link between D and E and I'll click here so that department is visible. Now this is a fairly mechanical work in terms of documenting the table. However, you if you know a command which now mechanically viewing the table and populating the data in Excel may prove to be a very lengthy process. So some of the shortcuts which you may use is the one which we have uh, uh, done on autofill. So uh, for writing the serial numbers we can write 1, 2 and again as a shortcut tip go at the right hand bottom corner and just drag it to the total number of employees which is 18 here. So that is one thing which you can do to save time but ideally speaking this is again not an optimal way of populating data because when it comes to name and departments and gender you will actually have to view these one by one and populate this mechanically. So say for example something like the first one Bruce marketing mail and his monthly salary is $2,500. So this may take a bit time and if this data point which is so we may all agree at this point that this may be a fairly tedious process. Tedious process in the sense that when it is limited to number of employees which is 18 in our case it is still okay. However, when the number of employees increases to let's say 1000, I'm not sure how many of you are willing to do that. So in that case, you know, we can really use Excel functions which can really help us in terms of taking data from Microsoft Word and uh, transporting that data directly to Excel. So let us look at you know how we can do that in an efficient way. So uh, here we will introduce ourselves to the commands which is copy, copy the data from MS Word and paste the data in MS Excel. So how, how can we do that? Let us quickly have a look at it. So we go back to the case study and let's say you know I want to copy this data which is the name serial number 2 Jacob. If you right click on this data you'll find there are various kinds of options. The option which we may be interested in would be copy. So why don't you go ahead and click on copy and press alt tab again. Go back to the name. Choose the cell which is C5 in this case and paste it. So there are two kinds of paste options. You just, just need to choose the first one for the time being. So you have Jacob which is the second name directly getting copied and pasted in Excel. So this is an efficient way of copying and pasting from Word. Primarily used to avoid the typographical errors which are uh, 
which may come if you are dealing with large set of data. Now let us fine tune our copy pasting abilities a bit further and let us try to see if we can copy and paste a single row at once. Is it possible? So let me choose this data at once. Right click, copy and I would right click and I'm choosing paste. So as you can see, it gets populated at once. Though the formatting has uh, kind of changed, but uh, the data has come. So one thing which we had kind of made sure is that we can copy the full row. Can I copy the same column at once? Let us try. I've selected the full names and I pressed copy. I'm going on the top cell number C4 and right click and paste. So all you can see is that you know the data or the name here column can be pasted at once rows can be pasted at once. So I'm sure you may be smart enough to ask this question whether the table can be pasted at once. If yes then it would be a real time saver. So when you go to word you will find that there is a button which is on the left hand top corner. Once you click that button, you'll find that it selects the full table. Why don't you go ahead and right click on this button and choose copy and let me go back to the Excel sheet. Choose the first cell from which the table starts. Right click and paste it. So as you can see, the full table gets populated from the word to this point. Now, uh, when we are kind of pasting this from word or other sources, paste can be done in two ways. One is you want to keep the source formatting. So the source formatting here was the word formatting that was uh, already provided. And the second option here is match the destination formatting. So in this case, I'll just match the destination formatting. Destination formatting would mean there was no formatting which was done earlier. So just keep the text as simple text. So this is how the destination formatting would work. And if I again go back and click keep source formatting, this is how it may work.